Missouri looked to be in trouble when James Franklin went down with that separated shoulder. But Matty Mock, the freshman, his first start against Florida, very, very good defense. 295 yards in the air. The Tigers get the upset. They're five in the BCS standings right now. What has worked for Mock so far? He has tried to do as little as possible. For as well as he's played, he's been successful because he's kept it very simple. And the problem when you have a, a hot shot freshman quarterback stepping in for the first time is that he wants to do what's fancy and risky because that's what he does in his video game. But the coach wants him to keep it very, very simple because that minimizes mistakes and it allows him to time up with the rhythm of the offense that already exists. And it starts with footwork that's so simple you can practice it in your own kitchen. It's footwork that times him up with the receivers. Now this is just a simple throw and catch. No big deal, right? But the replay shows why the coach's heart will be worn. Watch his feet. It'll be step, step, throw. That times the release with the point that the coach wants the receiver to get that ball based on the coverage that the coach anticipates. Now this is another one. Step, pump, throw. Another move that's so simple he can practice it in his own kitchen. And he doesn't need to know why that's important. He just needs to do it. Another look shows what the coach is thinking. Okay, well that moving by the quarterback moves the safety over. And the timing of it puts that receiver where the coach wants him to be when that ball drops down. Now part of it is also not overthinking things in the pocket. Right now, if he waits another second, he has a chance at a touchdown pass on the post route. But that'll make him exposed to an, the pass rush for an extra second, and he doesn't want to do that. So instead of taking the great move a second later, he takes the good move right now. He just bugs out and he leaves. Now, he only completed 50% of his passes in this game, but he avoided the big mistake. No sacks, only one interception. And that's going to be important when South Carolina comes to town because Jadavian Clowney will compress everything that he does. It is not doing the big things that made him successful. It is doing the simplest of the simple things that allowed everything else to work without the mistake. Yeah, back to back weeks, they beat Georgia, they beat Florida here. And if you look at the schedule and you look at the standings, suddenly Alabama and Missouri, the only two teams left undefeated in the SEC. What kind of damage can Missouri do in this conference? Well, South Carolina is coming to town without their starting quarterback who is injured. Connor Shaw is out. And so if they can get by South Carolina, then they need to win two of the next four, and that's it, including against Tennessee and Kentucky, in order to win the SEC East. Now think about it. They could be an undefeated SEC East champion going into that title game. It's possible.